Goes up. They're off full. Oh, Shadow Hunter stood there flat footed in the gates and missed it by five lengths and then wouldn't go early on. First to jump away is Cool Frost. Need action jumped away nicely and going up there as well soon after the start is Silver Queen. In behind them, Friars Moon. Ben's Typhoon on the inside. Three quarters of a length. Ukbar Ted. A length away, Barra Magic. Just trapped a little wide. In behind them, the two year old pulling hard at Mide. Back with Diffusion. And then came on the inside, Snow Bamboo and tacking onto the back of them with the modest speed is Shadow Hunter. Well, they sort themselves out going out by the 900 mark and Cool Frost led the way, only ahead to the good of Silver Queen. Two lengths away on the inside is Neat Action. Run for Money has moved up to sit outside of it. A length and a half away then on the outside is Friars Moon and over on the inside is Typhoon Ben travelling there in about sixth placing as Barra Magic again presses on. It's had no luck at all in transit. Ukbar Ted quickly latched up onto his hindquarters. One and a half away way then admired being followed then by snow bamboo starting to work to the outside as well shadow hunter is next and diffusion drops out last commencing the swing for home and cool frost led more than a length silver queen barra magic who's been parked deep continues to run on and grabs the lead run for money with ukbar ted further back behind them snow bamboo but barra magic down to the 150 is clear and accelerates again it found a gear and is coming away barra magic this has been a decisive win down the outside is snow Bamboo from Ukbar Ted, but that's a great performance by Barra Magic. Barra Magic first, second is Snow Bamboo, and Ukbar Ted ran third. Close for fourth behind those. They included Friars Moon and Run for Money. Gee, Shadow Hunter, that's a big, big run after missing it by five lengths, beat more than half the field home, including Need Action. Back there is the youngster admired. Cool Frost had dropped out, so did Silver Queen. Then came Typhoon Bend, and a long last is Diffusion. Fabulous win by Barra Magic, ridden by Lucy Warwick. Sat parked three deep and uh, made a sustained run around the field and then was drawing clear over the last 200. It gapped them late in this big, robust son of Blackfriars. Second up, comes away with uh, one of the best performances we'll probably see at this midweek card. Beating home Snow Bamboo, albeit a maiden race. Ukbar Ted, run for money. And uh, the run of Shadow Hunter back there running about seventh should be noted because it did miss the kick hopelessly. Placings are 4 8 1 11. 4 8 1 and 11. Barra Magic, a Blackfriars gilding, and is out of time sin. Trained by Brian Kersley and ridden by Lucy Warwick. Second is 8 Snow Bamboo. An Equiano mare, trained by Campbell McCallum. Sean O'Donnell there aboard. And one Ukbar Ted, third in an Ukbar. Trained by Kath Lemming, written by Ben Patterson. 132.35. They, they did dawdle up a bit there in front. Two and a quarter by three quarters. And they sprinted home in 35.35. But all honours with Barra Magic at its second run this preparation. That was a strong performance. Race five is the C Corp handicap at 335 over the 1400 metres. And there are no changes to come out of the fifth, the second leg of the quaddy. Well, there are plenty there, back Barra Magic. It was strong. It was right into 320 favouritism too and became uh, a very popular first leg of the quaddy this afternoon over the 11 to 1 chance, Snow Bamboo and Ukmar Ted, a $17 hope. We might go down to the yard here and catch up with Gareth. Uh, he doesn't run too many horses in the city, Brian Kersley, but he's certainly got a very nice progressive horse there that he might be able to have some fun with Gareth. Yeah, no doubt about that. Darren and Brian will join us shortly. That horse had no luck today. Three wide without cover, but he's such a big, strong galloper. He might have just appreciated that extra galloping room today. And I know, Brian, we had a chat to him before its first up effort, and he was pushed off the track, and he wasn't beaten far. But today, he seemed to be a lot better, and he just bolted home, Brian. That was a really good performance. Yeah, he went terrific. Thanks, Gareth. Um, yeah, he he ran a really good race first up. He's trained on really nice since. Today, he, I think, showed what he might be capable of as he matures and develops into a nice horse. He's had a good break and he's come back this preparation. We've just seen his first two runs. How much improvement left in him this prep? And do you think he's definitely a Saturday horse this time around? Uh, to answer your first question, how long's a piece of string? Yeah. Uh, secondly, yeah, I do think he can turn into a, a nice sad day horse. 
Uh, where we go next, I'm not sure. We'll have a good look and a chat with the connections and go from there. What's the, uh, the part about him that you think he needs to mature with? Is it just the race experience or has he got a few quirks that we don't know about? No, he's just a really immature little kid. He's like a big giraffe. If you look at him, he's all legs and neck and not much else. Um, yeah, he doesn't think like a racehorse until he comes here and hops in the gates. So that's something to look forward to then. Very happy with the future. Good luck. Thanks. There we go. There's Brian Kersley, Brittany and Lucy Warwick, and she just sat on and enjoyed the ride because that was a dominant performance. She did. Luce, congratulations on the win. Last start, you're off the track. Drawn better today, still off the track. But is, the, is it a case that the horse might appreciate just that little bit of room, given just how big he is? To a certain extent, obviously, last time four deep was probably a bit too much. Four deep, no cover. Um, but he's a big horse, big striding horse, and there was a spot for him if I, worst case scenario, really had to get in. But he, the pace was just that little bit slow, and it was better for him just to keep rolling. Um, and then, as you saw on the turn, as soon as they give him a little kick and press on the withers, he took off. So, in the end, it was the right thing, and he's um, a good enough horse, and I think he'll get over a bit of more distance. And Brian's done a good job with him, looking after him. He's just the type of horse, you know, he just needs that bit of time and that's what uh, Brian's done with him so it's worked out good. Speaking to Brian before he said that his concern wasn't when he saw him deep it was just when he hit the front that he would wait for them. How did he feel? Yeah I thought he might get lost um, but as soon as I got the whip into the left and just sort of kept him occupied he um, was continuing to do his best. Great win congratulations Liz.